What up YouTube? Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here today. I really appreciate it. Today I have for you a really exciting video because this has been a long time coming. I have been on YouTube just over two and a half years and something exciting has happened. <gasps> YouTube decided to pay me. Yes, two and a half years later I have received my first YouTube paycheck. <laughs> Anyways, I always said that when I got my first YouTube paycheck that I would use it to buy makeup. In the future, obviously, I will use it for whatever it's needed for, but this very first check I decided to use to put back into my channel. My check was just over $106. Yeah. I think about all the money that I've put into this channel. It feels really good just to get some back even though it's just $106. But that being said, $106 doesn't buy that much at Sephora, but this is what it bought. So I'm going to use all these products. That's why my face is already on. I just kind of wanted to get a variety of things. One palette that I had been wanting and just some favorites and things that I knew I would like. So as I go through here and start the process, I'll tell you what I got. But I already have my face on. My hair is in varying stages of fuzzy afro because I just washed it and it's crazy and I just need it out of my face. So if you would like to see how these products perform that I bought with my very first YouTube check, then please keep watching. So you guys know I've been on a no buy low buy for quite a long time and uh, over the holidays I've gone a little bit crazy. But I was saving for a car and I did buy a car and I'm calling it an in-betweener. I'm very happy that I got it. Um, it's a beautiful car. It's a giant yacht, but it's comfortable and safe and I'm so happy to have it. But I'm still on the saving for the next down payment train. But that being said, I haven't been able to buy all the Lunar Beauty palettes. I didn't buy the Strawberry Dream and I didn't buy this guy. But I thought this was so pretty and so unique and I love Lunar Beauty uh, formula. I love Lunar Beauty shimmers the most. And this is full of beautiful shimmers. So this is the Moon Spell by Lunar Beauty. It's so neat because it's like a little book and it slides out like this. And I'm just going to use it today. You guys can let me know if you want swatches and a review of this because it's been out a long time and you've probably seen a lot. But that's some prettiness right there. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get started with this, but I also have been wanting to try the Anastasia Beverly Hills eyeshadow primer. So I got a little mini of this. So I'm going to put this on my eyes and then we're going to get started um, with the eye look. I am going to speed through the eye look because as per usual, I'm getting ready for church and I don't have a lot of time because I decided that on my Thanksgiving vacation I wanted to sleep past six o'clock. So that's what I did. All right, I'm going to go ahead and apply this with a little beauty blender and then we're going to get started with the eyes. I have no idea what I'm going to do with it. You know, you guys know. I see all these pinks and purples and that's just usually where I go, but we'll see. I might surprise you. I don't really care for all that empty conversation. No, no. These days. Wow, that's super bright. It kind of reminds me of the P. Louise base, but I like it because it cancels out all the discoloration and it will be a nice bright canvas for colors to show well on. Yeah, nice. Okay, so I'm going to go in with Winifred, and I love these names. They're all named after like witches from um, shows that he likes. I know that part, but like Hocus Pocus and Charmed and all those, Buffy the Vampire Slayer and <laughs> or teen, Sabrina the Teenage Witch, I don't know, but I'm going in with Winifred. Oh yes. 
Welcome to my face. Okay, now I'm going to go in with this dark shade, Kiki. I'm looking at all these shimmers and I cannot decide what to do. Okay, I decided to go in with Prue. It looks purple in the pan, but it's got a lot of pink glitter in it, so that's what we're going to go for. I don't have time to do anything crazy today. Oh. Oh. I don't know if you can see how pretty that is, but oh my goodness. It is so neat. Oh. So pretty. It's a look. No, I won't pretend that I had a good time. Cause I ain't got pretty. Okay, since that has some pink and purple in it, I think I'm gonna go in with this bright purple on the bottom and maybe share it out with this lighter purple. This is interesting. Okay, there's not really an inner corner color, so I'm gonna grab a highlighter. I'm gonna use my Makeup Geek Starlight. Put just a tad up here. And I'm going to do it just one more blend. All right, so far, I don't know. Just an experiment. I'm going to go off camera and do um, eyeliner, mascara and all that. Then I'm going to come back and we're going to do these lashes. This is the uh, Sephora brand, but Sephora collaboration with House of Lashes and these are the style Natalia. And I got some lash glue that is also House of Lashes. I love House of Lashes glue, but I'm scared because I didn't realize when I ordered it this was black and I usually end up messing that up, but I'm going to try. If I end up looking crazy, then I end up looking crazy. <laughs> going in with this lash with the black, so I'm not going to talk. I have to be very careful. I 
I did it. What a beautiful lash that is. Wow, that's a beautiful lash. House of Lashes glue is the best glue of life. Got the little part I cut off stuck on my fingernail, but it is so strong. If you need to ensure that your lashes are going nowhere, House of Lashes. And this is actually kind of brownish. But anyways, again, going in. Got to be careful, so I'm going to shut up. I may have cut too much of these off, but I think they still look okay. These are gorgeous, gorgeous lashes. Gorgeous. All right, so I have bought this little set every year from Bite Beauty, and I love their lipsticks. They're very moisturizing, very opaque. They've always come in these little tins, and they've all been gray, and you couldn't really tell the shade. So this year, they put them in colored containers, which I love that. We have Ruby Bon Bon, uh, Cocoa Bite, Cherry Truffle, and Good good jubilee and I am gonna go with a uh, ruby bonbon just because I think it'll give some color to my face but I love these little minis and I don't know if you guys know I'm using uh, Dolly Danger by Buxom I don't know if you guys know but bite is like all, all natural and they use food grade products so like you could literally eat the lipstick not that you want to do that obviously but they are so nice and you get to try lots of them at Christmas time and most of the time they I should wait until I'm done with my lips. Most of the time, the colors that they have in the sampler, they also have in their regular line, so you can get them if you use one up and decide you love it. Ew, this is kind of shimmery. It's pretty. Ugh. Oh. They feel so nice. Like, I know you know what I'm talking about when I say sometimes you wear liquid lipsticks for too many days in a row and your lips just feel parched and dry, especially in the winter time. Well, these are a really good choice whenever you just need to get some moisture back in your lips and you just want to wear something comfortable. Okay, folks, I'm going to spray my face. Let me get my sleigh all day. I'm going to use my green tea. I've been back into loving this again and I've I never stop loving it, but I've started using it again. Oh, and you just catch the most beautiful whiff of a pretty fragrance through the day with this. It's just so, when it dries down, it has such a pretty fragrance. Okay, I am going to go, um, uh-oh, I got funky eyeliner. I am so glad I noticed that. You guys, lash glue will jack with your lash line after it dries fully. Not your lash line, your liner line. It will jack with it. So go back. Like me, who's OCD about all of it and make sure you don't have wonkiness. Okay, I'm gonna go do my hair, get dressed for church, and I'll be back. But this is the finished eye look. Pretty simple, but it's pretty, and I loved everything. I really did, even this lash glue that was scary to me. I just had to be extra careful. But I'll be back. Okay, 
wild afro. Okay guys, that's it for me. Thank you so much for joining me. This was super fun and exciting and it just feels like I've accomplished something and I know you small creators out there can understand how much time and energy money we pour into this passion of ours and just to get a little bit back in return is a really big deal. So thank you for joining me in my little celebration and hopefully there will be another one before two and a half more years pass. But I really enjoyed everything that I got and I'm happy that I have like a token to remember this special occasion or this special occurrence in my life by. So I'm gonna go for now, gotta get to church, but I hope you guys have a great day and thank you so much for joining me. If you enjoyed the video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you won't miss any of my future uploads. Until next time, take care and God bless. Bye, guys. Today I have for you a really nice spit bubble. <laughs> okay. Lipsy. Lippies. Li okay. La, 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 la. Lippies. La, 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 la. Lippies. These days, I don't really care for that empty conversation. No.